Thor gave us the mortal who attacked Heimdall. I think he can help Warrior King save Head Angel from Hell, so we can return to planning how we can stop the Ragnarok. Are you sure you want to send him? Melmoth is now more powerful than ever, possibly from collecting all those wicked souls from Earthrealm. I am certain he gave Louis the power to capture Head Angel in the first place. I have no other options. All the other heroes are too busy with their own problems. Really? Even the alleged descendants of the Goddess Clan? Many of them are still young. Malmoth could easily corrupt their hearts. You can send Nanael to help Rhaegar and Warrior King. I know she can be a troublemaker, but she might be able to keep her ground against the wicked forces of hell. Good idea, Athena. Both of them could keep whatever Malmoth throws at them at bay, while Rhaegar goes to get the glowing orb thing that Head Angel has been sealed in. Orbs? Warrior King? Is that the same orb Warrior King's been following like a shark would follow a ship? No, I don't know what happened to that orb. It could be in any dimension right now. Maybe once this mess ends, we can help Warrior King to find it. Have you considered that there is a dog buried in this whole Ragnarok business? What do dogs have to do with any of this? It's one of Ati's cryptic idioms. He means there is something suspicious about Malmoth's talks of Ragnarok. And he is right. He is actively trying to make the events preceding the Ragnarok happen in a random order, rather than let the events occur naturally. I agree. He might have a faction of gods helping him, but him trying to influence the past to alter the time stream? That's not part of the prophecy at all. He's just trying to instigate chaos because he knows the rest of the Earth gods don't care about it. Either Malmoth is an idiot, which could be likely, or this is all a cover for something. Do you think that he's trying to release some supreme form of evil under our noses? I don't think Malmoth is connected to any of our ancient enemies. Except maybe Kronos. Kronos? Oh no. I think that's who he's trying to release! I know Gargarensis is working for him. Who was the last person to come close to releasing Kronos? I think he even shared a piece of his soul with him. He has many of these avatars around various points of history, and each of them may hold a piece to releasing Kronos out of his eternal slumber and end Earthrealm as we know it. In other words, he's not trying to bring the Ragnarok, but something worse. The more chefs you have, the worse soup you get. What can we do to prevent this disaster of, um, hellish proportions? You and Ati have more ancient knowledge than anyone else. If you can get the rest of the apathetic gods to our side, we might have a chance to stop Malmoth. As for you, Himera and Athena, send Rhaegar, Warrior King and Nanyul to hell. You can also ask Horus and Thor to accompany them if need be. Right. Oh! This must be that statue Mervyn talked about! Is that thing even alive? It's very ugly! Thank God they that! Yikes! Look what you did, Brock! Now it's going to kill us! Hey! Uh... Inka! I'm Ash Ketchum and I come from Palatown! I was asked by a kindly old wizard to speak with you, as you can help me with my current predicament. If harmony of fire, ice, or lightning are disturbed, the titans wreak destruction upon the world they clash. Though great guardian of water shall arise to quell the fighting, alone its song will fail, will the world turn to ash. I... what? What am I supposed to get out of that? Something about harmony of ice, fire, and lightning. Lightning I certainly want to know more about. My Pikachu has gone missing a few days ago and I can't find it. Could you show me the way? 
The islands connected to the greater blue. Only a green light could lead away true. Yeah, this guy's full of it. Oh! Okay, we'll listen to your vague advice, Inca. Ugh, this made my day a lot worse. Once I find Pikachu, I'll just go back home. Home will soon be no more. In its place will the darkness soar. Huh? All of this sounds ominous. If only this guy had a translator or something. Maybe I could call Professor Oak or something to help with this. But right now, I'm scared! Don't worry, Pikachu! I'll save you! Moon Juju! What are you doing here? I've come to help you, Tak. But we have to hurry. I can only stay a short time in the world of dreams. Which one would you pick, Moon Juju? The choice is pretty obvious, Tak. You'd be a fool and a total idiot loser not to choose that. What? The what? Hello? Moon Juju?
good-looking kid! Hey, look everybody! Now I guess it's my turn!
showed that worm by using your kick-ass bombs to ruin his time machine. I failed once, and I'm going to fail again, and again, and again. I don't even know why I bother. Huh? Don't speak such nonsense. Don't let one failure get to you. That wasn't just any failure. I was about to get my first big victory in this war, and then that weird bomber Android Mac showed up. I think you guys are better off without me. What are you talking about? We need you on the team, White Bomber. I'm afraid White Bomber's depression is only going to keep us back. I agree. We did a mistake trusting that old worm. But we can only recover from setbacks if you put your mind into it. I sincerely have to fire you from Jetters. What? It's okay. I was getting tired of this anyway. Thank you for taking care of me. I wish you all the luck in the world. White Bomber! Moron! No! We can't just let him go! Well, what do you think, Gurren? You are right! But right now, we have to focus on getting revenge on that slimy worm! Hey, you in there! He did the professors too, you know! We could help. We've got our own arsenal of bombs you could use while that little bomber is away. We'll keep that in mind. Thanks, you guys.
I'm ready to take you on. I've got a new battery, and I'm as strong as a, uh, yeah, yeah, oh, you know, uh, ooh, a big thing. People write them, uh, right on the tip of my tongue. Go, oh, get them out. our reach to the stars above. Ha! Jesse! James! They know the rest.
going.
Wake up, Mario! Please wake up! 